And I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm black. <laughs> I'll catch everyone in the room up. <laughs> if you settle down a little bit, I'll tell you what's been going on. Jared Carmichael hosted the 2023 Golden Globes last night, and he didn't hold back with the ice cold jokes. The comedian opened Tuesday night's award show by putting the Hollywood Foreign Press Association's history of alleged discrimination and racism on blast, addressing the award show's absence from the air last year. This show, the Golden Globe Awards, did not air last year because the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which I, I won't say they were a racist organization, but they didn't have a single black member until George Floyd died. So do with that information what you will. Jared also made a joke about Church of Scientology leader David Miscavige's wife, Shelley Miscavige, after referencing Tom Cruise's decision to return his Golden Globes in 2021. Hey guys. Uh, Backstage, I found these uh, three Golden Globe Awards that Tom Cruise returned. Uh, look, I'm just the host briefly or whatever, but I have a pitch. I think maybe we take these three things and exchange them for the safe return of Shelly Miskovich. Another joke that the Rothaniel creator cracked in which viewers noticed was in very poor taste, was about the venue that was chosen for the evening show, being the same place Whitney Houston died. All right, you guys, we are back. Um, we are pressed for time, but they wanted me to shout out the venue that we're in. So we are here live from the hotel that killed Whitney Houston, the Beverly Hilton, uh, you guys. So uh, that's very exciting. Lastly, one of Jared's jokes was referencing Will Smith slapping Chris Rock on stage at the 2022 Oscars. When the show returned from a commercial break, the Saturday Night Live alum said that the show had given an award off air to Will Smith. While we were on commercial, uh, we actually presented Will Smith with the Rock Hudson Award for Best Portrayal of Masculinity on Television. So please give it up for Will Smith, you guys. Please, please. To understand the cold jokes reference, Rock Hudson was a famous film and TV star from the 1950s until his death from an AIDS-related illness in 1985. His co-stars and Hollywood friends later claimed that he was gay and that his sexual identity was an open secret in Hollywood. Jared wasn't the only one who made a joke about Will Smith. At the end of Eddie Murphy's acceptance speech for the Cecil B. DeMille Award, he cracked a solid one to end the night. I'm gonna wrap it up and just say something to all the new up and coming dreamers and artists that are in the room tonight. I wanna let you know that there is a, a definitive blueprint that you can follow to achieve success, prosperity, longevity, and peace of mind. It's a blueprint and I followed it my whole career. It's very simple, it's three things, you just do these three things. Pay your taxes, <laughs> mind your business, and keep Will Smith's wife's name. Mouth! Access Hollywood Scott Evans and Zuri Hall chatted with the comedian after his acceptance speech backstage, and he reflected on the Will Smith joke. I'm gonna tell you, do you have a way of still giving a punchline that is like a wham. You deliver one tonight. I don't imagine that Eddie Murphy is ever nervous about getting up there and speaking his mind, but the, the punchline in particular tonight, how, how did you prepare? Were you ready for it? Do you feel like it landed the way you wanted it to? I, th I thought it went f fine. It wasn't a punchline. It was just like the, the end of the end of my little acceptance speech. But I thought it worked. That joke worked, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't it? it worked. I think so. Got laughs. They got mm -hmm. laughs. Got laughs.